Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, said for real. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website. If you want me to coach you every step of the way, step by step throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also. And I can help you out personally again, one on one with any questions, concerns or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new girls night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my girls night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh He's Toxic Period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video, and this video is titled, What to do when a man comes back into your life? Right, ladies? So you trying to figure out what you should do as a woman when this man decides that he wants to rekindle things or he wants to work things out or he misses you he might send you a text hey stranger i miss you please talk to me and he over here begging you to take him back right or he trying to find his way into your life some type of way to try to get in contact with you and you or like, what should I do? Should I take him back? Should I leave him where he was at? Like, because it can be very tempting as a woman, right? Like, for whatever reason, y'all broke up for a specific reason. Maybe y'all broke up because he cheated. Maybe y'all broke up because he lied, disrespected you. Whatever. Whatever the case was, he put hands on you. He was disrespectful. So you had to leave him alone. So y'all broke up. But over time, even though you had to do what you had to do for yourself and walk away and ignore him and move on and separate yourself from him because he was causing too much damage in your life, you had to separate yourself, you might start missing him because y'all spent so much time together. You know, y'all had so much companionship and chemistry during the time that sometimes it's hard for you to let that go. Even though he been disrespecting you or you know he not a good man for you or you know that he not right, you might just miss the companionship of having him by your side or just having somebody to talk to, somebody to hang out with, somebody to kick it with. You just miss that, that intimate romantic touch from a man, right? So 
it's easy for you to get tempted to say, you know what, let me go on ahead and let this man back in my life. Or you get real tempted, like, let me go on ahead and allow him to come back because I miss him. Even though he disrespected me, even though he, you know, was doing what he was doing, I have to forgive him because I don't want to be alone, right? It's so many women that don't want to be alone or they end up missing him so much that they end up taking the man back or they end up, you know, in this kind of gray area where she don't know if she should take him back or or just leave him where he at. Because it's like, if you take him back, it's like a risk because you don't know if he really changed his ways or changed his behavior. Anytime you take a man back, and you accept him back in, nine times out of 10, he gonna go right back to doing the same thing that he was doing before. It's very, very rare. It's a very slim chance that a man will actually change his bad behavior and his ways. Usually a man not gonna change. It's a small percentage of men that actually get their act together, but most men won't. They just tell you to take me back, I miss you, whatever. Just because, you know, they want your benefits again. They don't want to lose you to another man. They, they're, af they're afraid of being alone. It's a lot of men that are afraid of being alone. He ain't getting no consistent booty no more from you. You know what I'm saying? His life is tragedy without you. His life is horrible without you. When you was in his life, he had more money in his pocket. He was cleaner and, and he was dusted off and, you know, polished and looking nice. Then when you left his life, he got all dusty and crusty. He went back to his old ways, right? When, when he was with you, he had a little money in his pocket. Now that he not with you, he ain't doing so well, right? So a lot of men, they end up coming back just for the convenience. A lot of men, they come back just to use you. He just want to use you for sex, for your booty, right? That's the only reason why he coming back. You think he coming back because he miss you. He don't miss you. He only coming back because he miss that booty. That's what he miss. Or he miss all the money you was spending on him, giving him, taking him out, buying him stuff. He miss the money. Or he missed the emotional support, the companionship of having a woman by his side that will bend over backwards and do whatever for him. He missed having you as his secretary, you know, his personal assistant. You was the one filling out all his applications and letters of recommendations. And you was the one filling out all his appointments. And, you know, you filling out all his paperwork. You doing all that. He missed having that. He missed having basically a servant. He missed having you cooking for him because now he ain't eating good no more. He missed you cleaning his house because now his house dirty without you. A lot of times, the only reason why he coming back is just to use you again. He ain't even coming back for the right intentions. He's only coming back just to use you, right? Or he's just coming back because he couldn't find nobody else better than you, right? A lot of men, the only reason why they came back into your life is just out of convenience. Meaning, I tried to find better out there. I tried to see the grass was greener on the other side. I tried to date other women, have sex with other women, kick it with other women. But... It just ain't worked out. It just wasn't what I thought it would be or they just not true. They, they can never replace the woman that you are, right? And maybe he had fun with the chicken heads and the hoochie mamas, but he knew it wasn't no substance with those women. But you had all the substance, right? As a good woman, you was the wife type and they was just for the streets. The other women were just, you know, in the streets, whatever. So you... So he started wondering like, man, I need to go back to my ex. I need to go back to my ex thing I used to talk to, my ex boo. I had to go back to her because, you know, she used to hold me down. She cared about me. You know, she was there for me. She was consistent. 
he ain't getting no consistent booty no more. He might get some booty from one girl. It might be a one night stand. He don't talk to her no more. Or he has sex with a girl a couple times, then they don't talk no more. You know, so he like, man, I miss my consistent booty. So that's why he come back to you because he can't find no other better booty, right? Or a lot of men, they just don't know what they got until it's gone. Or they don't appreciate what they got while they have it. And they know what they got. They just never thought it would leave. They never thought you would leave him. He thought that he had you on lock. He thought that no matter what I do, this woman ain't going to leave me. No matter what the situation is, she ain't never going to leave me. You know, I could dog her out, mistreat her. What's she going to do? Nothing. You know, she's so nice. She's so innocent. She's so shy. She going to let me walk all over her, right? So when he tried, when he tried with you and you cut him off, he just couldn't believe his eyes. He like, what? She really left me after I cheated on her? Wow. She really left me after I disrespected her and called her out her name? Wow. She really left me after I lied to her? Wow. So he's just in shock the fact that you actually had the guts and the audacity and enough dignity and self-respect for yourself to be able to cut him off no matter what. You basically telling this man, hey, I don't care how handsome you are. I don't care, you know, how good you look. I don't care how tall you are. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how many chains and necklaces and, and, and watches and Rolexes and whatever. I don't care what you got, right? I don't care about all the Gucci shirt and the and the nice Mercedes or the BMW. I don't care about your big old house. I don't care about none of that. I will leave you if you disrespect me. And that's what you did. So this man just couldn't believe it that, wow, she really left all this money. You know, she really left this lifestyle. I thought she wasn't going to leave me no matter what. I really thought she cared about this lifestyle that I provided her so much she wouldn't leave me. I thought I was so tall and so handsome, she wasn't going to find nobody better than me, so she was going to stay with me no matter what. I thought I was the best she could do, and she would never leave me because, you know, she she should be lucky to be with a, with a man like me, right? But then when you said, hey, I don't care about none of that, I'm gone. He just He just don't even know what to do, so now he's begging, chasing you back, because he thought that you would never leave, you know? Or sometimes he just don't want another man to have you. Sometimes a man, he come back into your life because he don't want nobody else to have that booty. Sometimes even though y'all are broke up or y'all not talking no more or y'all are in no contact, he still, a lot of men, they still in their minds think that you are their territory, you are their property. I still own you. Even though we not together, I had sex with you before. So basically I put my flag in the ground and that's my territory. So I don't want no other man putting his flag in my territory, right? So when you may or may not move on, maybe you do move on, maybe he just think that you move on or he, he assumed that you got a new man now he trying to hurry back and take you off the market so you don't run off in the sunset with him and leave him behind, right? So he just coming back for that or he coming back for revenge. Some men are coming back for revenge. They come back because, you know, the they're bitter and they're mad and they're angry at the fact that how the relationship ended or they're mad at the fact that the relationship ended on your terms and not on his terms, like you the one broke up with him, right? So his ego and his pride just won't let that settle or be. He like, no, nah, I can't have that. She gonna break up with me? Who she thinks she is? Oh, no, nah, nobody breaks up with the king. Nobody breaks up with me. She just gonna leave me? Oh, no. Nah. So let me think, what can I do to get her back? Cause she got me messed up and she thinks she just gonna leave me 
and just hurt me and break break my heart and leave me high and dry. Uh-uh. Now, if she, if she want to leave me, I'm going to make her pay for, for how she just going to up and leave me like that. You know? So now, this is where he going to try to swindle his way back into your life just to get you back attached to him. And then guess what he going to do? Dog you out again on purpose. Or now, this when he act like everything all good, everything cool, you know, we back together. Then he start acting up and tripping. Then he cut you off. He say, nah, we broke up now. I don't want to talk to you no more. It's over with. Or he might ghost you. Or he might be messing around with other women, not tripping over you, ignoring you. And you like, why? How you going to beg me back after I, after we broke up? You going to beg me back? And then when I finally let you back in, now you leave me? You know? Yeah. Now he going to leave you because he want his get back. He want his revenge says you left him, right? So that's basically he he want he want to leave on his terms. He want to break up on his terms, not not y'all breaking up on your terms, right? So you got to basically identify the reason why he's coming back. Because most men are not just coming back because they miss you and they're sorry and they need you back and they just can't live without you. And, you know, they're so sorry for what they did and they feel so horrible and so bad. And it was a mistake that will never happen again. Blah, blah, blah. A lot of men, they tell you these things, but they really coming back for other intentions to use you or to manipulate you again, right? And the cycle continues. So in this video, I'm going to teach you what to do when a man does come back, regardless of the reason why he coming back. I'm going to tell you how to identify what to do based on your situation, okay? So we're going to jump right until we go number one. So number one, the first thing that you need to do as a woman, if a man tries to come back to you after he was disrespectful and you had to cut him off, but now he's trying to enter back into your life. Number one is do not get emotionally attached to this man again, right? It's easy to reminisce on the good times. You thinking about all the happy times y'all spent together. You thinking about all the trips, all the dates. You thinking about the times y'all was laid up cuddling. You thinking about all the good sex you had. Maybe the sex was really good and you just can't let that go because he just rocked your world and knocked your socks off in the bedroom, right? Or... You just think this man just so attractive. You think that he the best you can do. Or, you know, you just you just miss everything about him outside of the bad stuff, right? You just thinking about all the good times. And, and guess what? That's the problem. That's how you start getting wrapped up into, okay, let me let this man back in. That's when you get weak. That's when, when you start getting weak. A man can sniff that out every single time. He gonna know, okay, this woman weak for me. You know, she not as strong. She she talking all that stuff. Yeah, I'ma leave you. I'm done. I'm never talking to you again. Blah, blah, blah. But he know if I call her enough times, if I text her enough times, if I run into her enough times, when I'm in her sight, I'm in her mind right so you know how they say out of sight out of minds that means the reverse is insight in minds so the more i show up in your face is the more you'll think about me and the more that you will hopefully reconsider the more i press the issue of take me back take me back take me back i miss you i'm sorry he gonna say all these nice words and if you're not a strong woman and you only focus on the good and not the bad, is you're going to easily let him back in. So don't get attached to what used to be. That's basically what I'm saying in number one. 
Don't get attached to what used to be. Even if y'all got kids together, you may say, Sid, but we got kids together. We got this and that together. And, you know, it's hard to kind of co-parent and still share things and we not together. You know, that's cool and all. You know, y'all do what y'all got to do with the custody of the kids. But if it ain't about the children, then it ain't nothing to talk about. You know, you need to leave him alone if it ain't about pertaining to your child. If he not talking about his kid, don't tell him don't call my phone and you don't call his phone. Y'all ain't, ain't got nothing to talk about outside of the child that y'all shared together or whatever financial situation y'all got together, right? Until that's over with or until your kids, you know, old enough, go to college, whatever. So do not get attached and don't get excited. This is the other thing. Do not get too excited when this man does reach out and text you. Let's say y'all in no contact and, you know, you, you broke it off with him, you ignore him, you cut him off, right? Then he start calling you, you know, he start texting you a little more and you start getting excited. Oh, look, he calling, he calling, he calling. Oh, he texting, he texting. Oh, what he saying, what he saying. You know, you trying to read what he say. You trying to think about what he say. And you trying to reconsider and stuff. You don't need to do that. What you need to do is remember that nine times out of ten, usually the reason why he coming back is just to use you. So don't go back. You got to remember the bad times, not the good times. Okay? So that's number one. So number two, the second thing that you should do if a man tries to come back into your life, number two is you got to think about and get upset and really care about the reason why y'all broke up in the first place. This is what you really need to remember. Not, not just, you know, don't focus on the good. This is when, number two, you need to focus on the bad. Forget the good. Forget all the good times, all the good sex, all the good times that y'all had. You need to remember the bad times. Remember that. Remember what how he made you feel. Remember those text messages you saw in his phone when he was texting that other girl. Or those videos you seen or those pictures you seen of them other girls. Or him and other girls messing around. Remember when you found out that he was talking to and having sex with other women? Remember how you felt when he was putting hands on you and you had to walk around with big old sunglasses on your face because you had a, a, a dark ring that was all around your eye? Remember that? Remember when you was crying every day, couldn't eat, couldn't sleep? Remember when you was going crazy? Remember when this man destroyed your self-esteem? He made you feel like you wasn't good enough. This man broke your heart. Remember when this man made you feel like you wasn't worth anything? Like you wasn't confident in yourself? Like, remember? You need to remember the bad. Remember why you broke up with him in the first place. If you was going to stay with him, think about this. If you was just going to stay with him anyways, or if you was, or if you were considering taking him back, what was the point of breaking up with him in the first place? That just goes against everything. If you have to walk away from a man, you need to stand on it. Don't be going back and backtracking now. You need to stand on it. It does not make no sense. If you leave me because I lied to you or I cheated on you or I put hands on you or I called you all out your name, I called you the word that starts with a B or I start, I called you the word that, that starts with an H. I, I called you, you know, all these different words, you know, and you took me back. What was the point of breaking up? We might as well have stayed together and you just let me and you just let me disrespect you. Don't don't you know leave me when I disrespect you and then take me back and not expect for me to disrespect you again. Cause now I lost respect for you. This is what happens. 
a man loses respect for you. When you, whenever you take a man back after you broke up with him, he lost respect for you in that moment. Cause he said, look at this weak, pathetic woman. She know I'm a low down, dirty dog. I done showed her my true colors. I showed her that I'm a dog and she still don't believe it. She still, you know, falling for my, my games and tricks and stuff. She's so naive. She's so slow. She's so, you know, not mentally intelligent because she took me back. You know, common sense would say if somebody crosses you the first time, believe them. But a lot of women, unfortunately, they they not using their brain. They using their feelings, right? They using their heart. And your heart going to get you in trouble. You need to use your brain. So if this man cheats on you and, and lies to you and stuff, remember that. Remember that girl that he kept telling you, don't worry about, don't worry about her. Don't worry about her. And, and then that was the same woman that you found that he was cheating with. Or remember when he was still messing with his ex and you found out he was still messing around with his ex or he still was messing around with his baby mama or whatever. Remember that? Remember when you was crying and stuff, right? Remember? Do you remember? Now, do you want to go through that again? No. So remember the bad, all right? So that's number two. So number three, the third thing that you need to do as a woman when a man tries to come back into your life, number three is never ever do not give him the opportunity to plead his case. This is where a lot of y'all women mess up it. I'm going to tell you because as soon as a man start texting you, start calling you, hey, I miss you. Hey, stranger, I'm so sorry. Please answer. Please take me back. Please just hear me out. You know, let me let me just let me just tell you what happened. Let me explain the whole situation. I'm so messed up without you. I need you in my life. If you allow a man or if you even care to hear him out, that already tells me everything I need to know as a dating coach that you are weak for this man. You weak. You weak. A strong woman, let me tell you, a strong woman ain't even going to care what this man got to say. It ain't nothing you can say to me, brother. You already showed me who you are. You can't talk your way out of it. You know, just because you think that just because you think that I'm going to take you back. No, you need to let this man know you, you, you don't even need to reply. Don't even let this man, hey, can we meet up and discuss this? That's a man's number one trick is when, when y'all broke up in no contact, he going to try to get in contact with you. And once he finally gets you start to reply back, little interaction he will invite you out somewhere or he'll try to invite you to his house or he'll try to invite you somewhere in person where y'all can meet in person. He want to see you in person because a man knows if I can get her out the house and if I can get her to meet up with me and if I can get her to hear me out, she not that mad at me. She not that mad at me. I got a chance. I got a chance. She not that mad at me. If she was really mad and upset and furious at the fact that I'm a dog and I disrespected her, she wouldn't even give me the time of day. I would be blocked, ignored. She wouldn't even be talking to me right now. She would be ignoring me. No matter how many times I try, I couldn't even get through because she doesn't care. But the fact that you say, huh, let me hear what he got to say. That mean you care. That mean you weak. Huh, let me see what he... Okay, he texted me this long paragraph. He shouldn't even been able to text you if he was blocked. If you blocked him, you wouldn't even see what he texted you. You know, or this man keep calling, keep calling. You like, dang, should I answer? Should I not answer? I don't know, you know? So you start reminiscing and missing him and stuff when you need to leave him alone and be strong. It don't matter how many times this man come back, come back, I'm sorry, this man could cry. 
I don't care if this man crying. Please, please. No, I don't even want to talk. It ain't nothing to talk about. Bye. Them tears don't mean nothing to me. Bye. So you just don't care? Nope, I don't. Bye. Get out my face. You know? So do not even give him a chance to even tell you that I'm a change. I'm sorry. Blah, blah, blah. At this point, his apology don't even matter. At this point, he did what he did, and you need to believe him and move on, right? So that's number three. So number four, the fourth thing you need to do as a woman, if a man tries to come back into your life, number four is you need to leave him blocked and keep him blocked, right? Leave him blocked forever. A lot of y'all women you have a hard time with you on that line of, should I take him back or should I not take him back? So sometimes you'll block him, but then you'll say, huh, going back to number three, let me hear what he got to say. And then you end up unblocking him just to see what he got to say. So just like in number three, you can't even care about what he got to say. That's irrelevant. He already showed you who he was, right? And then two, just the fact that he coming back you need to just know that, hey, it ain't nothing he can say that can change what he did to you. The The damage has already been done. You already caught him in the act. You already caught him red-handed. You caught him cheating. You knew he was a liar. You knew that he put hands on you and cussed you out. What's the point of talking? It ain't no point of talking. So that's when you just leave him blocked. Do not unblock him. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all be messing up. Let me unblock him. Let me block him, then unblock him, then block him again, then unblock him. You playing these games, you need to be a woman about your stuff, and you need to go ahead and block him and leave him blocked forever. Don't be second-guessing and second-guessing second yourself, and maybe I shouldn't block him. Maybe I should keep him blocked. Keep him ignored. No contact. That means delete everything. Delete his number, block it, delete, delete everything. Delete y'all pictures, delete him off, off of Instagram, block him on Instagram, block him on Facebook, block him on whatever dating social media app you use. Block him on everything. Block his number, the mama number, grandma, the aunties, uncles. Block everybody need to be blocked and stay blocked. Don't be trying to still be friends with, with some of his friends. No. Don't be trying to be cool with his sister to try to still keep tabs on him. No. Don't be trying to still be cool with his mama. No. Leave everybody blocked. And you have to love yourself enough to say, I don't deserve this. This man had me messed up. This man, you know, you should never take a man back. The whole basis of this video is never take a man back, period. He should have appreciated you the first time. No exceptions. It ain't no mistake. It ain't no accident. No, he know he's a grown man and he know right from wrong. And if he don't know right from wrong, then his mama ain't raised him right and he don't deserve no woman no way. So... You should never unblock a man or never, you know, allow access back to you. Stop letting him call you. Stop letting him text you. Just block him, right? Delete him on everything. And you might say, but Sid, he called private. Or Sid, he called restricted. Or Sid, he called star 67, whatever. And I don't know who calling. If he calling you private or restricted, Guess what? You shouldn't even be answering those calls anyways. If somebody call you private, you shouldn't answer the phone anyways. If I can't see your caller ID, you shouldn't be calling me. If you got to hide your caller ID, it's a reason why you hiding your caller ID. You shouldn't be calling me no way. You know what I'm saying? So you shouldn't answer no calls restricted from any, from anybody because it could be, you know, some, something else. But just understand that this man he not coming back for the right reasons and you need to leave him blocked keep him blocked move on with your life and be done with him okay so that's number four so number five the fifth and last and final thing that you need to do as a woman if this man try to come back into your life number five is 
You need to move on and date other men and keep yourself busy. So a lot of y'all women, the reason why it's so hard for you to move on, why it's so hard for you to resist the temptation of letting him come back or resist the temptation of maybe you reaching out to him, even though he disrespected you and you left him, but then you start missing him. And then you start reaching out to him. No. I know you might miss him or you might miss the good times or whatever. But again, always focus on the bad times. And during that time, guess what? While y'all split up, instead of you waiting by the phone trying to see if he going to call you or text you or is eating you up inside that y'all not talking, you got all this free time. Now that y'all broken up, you got all this free time. You need to use that free time productively. Get you a, a better job or work some more hours at your current job. Maybe start that business you always wanted to start or work more into your business. Grow your business, you know. Go to the gym, eat better, lose some weight, tone up, look good, take care of yourself, you know. Go hang out with your friends. Go hang out with your family. Stuff like that. Keep yourself busy, occupied. You got you don't you got kids? Your kids gotta help your kids with their homework. Go do something. Go do that. Go clean your house. Go clean something. Go do something. Go 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 explore the world. Touch some grass. You know, touch a tree. You know, get some sunlight. You know, do something else more productive than sitting at home waiting for this dusty, crusty little boy to be calling your phone, begging you back, knowing that he ain't going to change. They don't never change. So you need to keep yourself busy. And on top of that, you need to get somebody else, get you a new man, you know, after a while. You know, I would say take a take a few moments to yourself to heal you know, take take some time to heal yourself and get over the breakup, right? Then once you healed a little bit, maybe a few weeks, few months pass, whatever, start dating, you know, maybe start dating other men to keep yourself occupied too. Go on other dates now. Now that you're single, you got all these men that's, that's richer than him, taller than him, more successful than him, you got all these men that are more attractive than him, overall better quality men than him. If you if you open your eyes, you will see that you actually settling. You're settling for less than what you deserve if you go back to this man and he already showed you that he wasn't a good man. When you got so many other options, Look at your DMs right now. Go ahead and scroll in your DMs. Look at all those men in your DMs. All those men in your inbox. All those men on, on all the, you know, dating apps and stuff, whatever you use. Look at all those men. Every time you walk out the house, you got men trying to holler at you, men trying to talk to you. Look at those men. Stop focusing on this man that don't care nothing about you, obviously, and focus on this a whole world out there of men that will actually care about you and give you everything you ever wanted in life and that will never, you know, jeopardize or that will never sabotage y'all two relationship to where you have to walk away from him. If a man actually care about you, then he won't even put himself in a position to lose you. I'm going to say that one more time. If a man actually values you and loves you and cares about you like he says he does, he will never put himself in a position to lose you. He will always cherish you and keep you around and do everything he did to get you in order to keep you around, right? So start dating other men. Get, get out there. Live life. It's so much more to live for outside of this dusty man that don't care nothing about you. You got a whole world out there and you could be way happier with the people that actually love you, your friends, family, and you could be dating other men. You know, surround yourself with, with people that actually care and do things that make you happy, you know, that's going to benefit you. 
and occupy your time. Make some more money and feel better, look better, and do your thing. And you won't even be worried and tripping over the fact that you had to separate from this man and now you start missing him because you bored. A lot of y'all women, I'm going to tell you right now, you do not miss this man. You think you miss this man. You don't miss him. You just bored. You you ain't got nothing else to occupy your time outside of this man. This man was your whole life when y'all was together. But now that y'all broke up, you don't know what to do with your life. So you start missing him. You start chasing him. You start reminiscing because you ain't got no life. Get you a life outside of a man. You should always have a life outside of any man that you date or anybody in, in your life, period. You should always have a life outside of your friends, family, or men, right? Your life don't revolve around people. Your life revolve around God and yourself, right? So just focus on you and never take a man back no matter what. Remember... He ain't never going to change. It ain't no potential. It's over with. Don't never look back and don't never get soft for no man. Leave him blocked and keep him blocked and move on with your life and never circle the block and go back to him and allow him to disrespect you again. That's not going to happen. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Once a dog, he going to forever be a dog. All right. So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my top five things that you need to do if a man tries to come back, a.k.a. don't let him back in your life. Leave him blocked forever. And, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me, and I'm out of here. So, till the next video.